no longer holding back on using the boom boom gun. It's just so strong. It's just so strong. And again, now that I have the ability to just call Sonic in at will, because Sonic will drop ammo. Oh, here you go. Right. Now, next thing, though, I do need to start using Sam's ability where she literally freezes time for everybody on screen. Well, all the enemies, that is, right? I got to start utilizing that, okay? And at least for boss fights, start at least with that, and then it's like an ultimate, pretty much. Excuse me. And then from there, then we can start segueing and, and incorporating that into into fights with like normal enemies. The only thing that makes me hesitant on wanting to do that is the fact that it doesn't have a, a cooldown based on time. It has a cooldown based on when you kill an enemy. Right? So that's a little eh. I understand. It's like a, it's literally, instead of, I said an ultimate ant, eh, it's like, a, it's literally just like a limit break in, in Final Fantasy, right? It's a little, it's literally a limit break. The, if you want your limit break, you got to literally farm, 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 grind enemies. And then you want to make sure you have it there available for you when you're in a boss fight. But it's not like it's completely wasted farming because at the same time, you're also still gaining salt and you're getting ingredients and et cetera and et cetera, right? Which we're still, wait, I don't think we're balling on salt anymore. But we did increase our inventory space. Our inventory space is increased. So good stuff. All right. So, but yeah, I, all that happened. And now we're back in her house. Oh, that's right. I remember now. I remember now. So, we, all right. So, we're finished for the night because we did a lot. So, all Oliver, who's a scientist, she was like, all right, you all, y'all can, because I kept asking for a bed for the past, like, three parts. All of us like, all right, you all, y'all can come to my house. And her house is literally one floor underneath where we're at. All right, it's literally one floor down. But it's actually her grandpa's house, remember? She said it's her grandpa's. She's just living there now. She was cooking some food. We realized she can't cook to save her life. So now John is in the kitchen. Because Sam was or, yeah, Sam was like, hey, John, you can try to cook. Because Sam knows John can mad cook. Now let's go. Man, I miss these ones. Oh, I'd rather play this and get team killed or have somebody leave the game or et cetera. Oh. All right, let's cook. Dude, she just straight up burnt all of this, huh? Oh, oh, I don't, we don't got to. I'm about to try to save. We don't got to save. All right, so John cleared off the stove. <laughs> Look at John's already at it. Are you even listening to me? Is she still lecturing her? Hmm? What's that delicious smell? <laughs> Big old smiley face. Holy smokes! What is this? It looks so good. Curry's on the menu tonight. <laughs> she just helped herself in. John, John and Sam just helped herself into there, but it's better than her cooking. John's cooking is the absolute best. Yeah, it is. Hot nectarious fortitude, Captain. I could eat this every day. Man, look at Isabel acting like she's too cool to eat it. Wait a tick. I just remembered something of extreme importance. This is Sam's name if I'm correct. This is some Sunny D, Sunny, Sunny Delight, the orange juice. Sam, these are for you. What is it? An ability for Sam? Dodge? Dodge? Look at how excited she gets. Oh, wow. So these are, oh, that's right. I forgot, Sam is barefoot. So these are shoes? <laughs> They're so soft. Oh, she's got shoes. And so comfy. Thank you, Alva. So is Sam the one that has Dodge? Oh. John, John, look. Shoes, John. Ava gave me some shoes. Oh, of course he did. <laughs> John's like, oh. And at the same time, John's probably like, I can't believe I ain't got her no shoes yet. All right, well, if you, you know, thanks for, you know, thanks for time. Thanks for thanks, thanks time with it. Be, you know, I appreciate it. No, I'm just playing. I should just go in on and finish that last part. It's all good. I had no way of knowing, though. Chapter concluded.
Chapter 3. Winning Big. I don't even remember the chat, name of the chapter for the past one. Winning Big. Oh, Pachinko? But, even after all the power I received, TV works? There's cable television? Or, like, some kind of broadcast? Or is it a movie? Hmm. It's supposed to be the end of the world. Power isn't a cure-all, you know. Yes, her. It was her all alone. Please forgive me. I was consumed by the need for power for far too long. Let's see what these shoes do. Okay, what was Sonic's name? Sonic Punk. Sonic Punk. Got it. And now look, I just realized this. I can't go anymore, but look on the right side. It shows a heart and one of four. It does show you how many more of those you need until your, your hearts are ex extended. It does show you. So good stuff. As I said before, I was like, it doesn't even show you, but it does. Let's see what these boots do. Here they are. Oh, it's just a, okay, they don't do anything. It's just a, a quest item. Sam is so silly. Dang. Making making leftovers? John! What are you making, huh? Or just breakfast? Wow, that looks amazing. We're having this for dinner? Oh, oh, I get it. This is the next day. So they've actually been staying here for at least a day. Hmm. Where'd Alva and Isabel go? Let's go look in the lab. Did something bad happen? No. Oh, dude, I like I like Oliver's theme. Thruster number three is acting up. The ignition system won't even start. Izzy. You know, her theme kind of reminds me of... What happened to the landing gear? Oh, look at Isabel. Yeah, I knew it. She is a Sondary. She is a Sondary. Because if John and Sam come in right now, she's going to put on a serious face real quick. But look at Isabel. We would not be seeing her look like that if John and, and Sam were there. I mean, come on now. She, she would not be acting like that. That's crazy. Alva, uh, I can explain. Dang! You've completely lost it! And the payload fairing! What is this dent? Well, uh, there were some monkeys on top of the train? Because she flies it. They, uh, they opened fire on me. And when you landed? Etc, etc? Monkeys, hmm? Don't tell me that old legend is true then. Sorry, Alva. This is going to require some serious investigation. Where's John at? It's not my fault. It was bound to happen collecting samples in a place like that. Samples for what? Intelligent monkeys. We're going to have to investigate this. Hmm. Okay, her theme reminds me of. It's hard to, this is what it reminds me of. Is it from? Is that from Earthbound? Oh, I got it. It reminds me of Paula's theme from Earthbound, aka Mother Two. Her theme, Alva's theme, reminds me of Paula's theme. It reminds me of Paula's theme, okay, you all? Y'all have time to look that up, all right? All right, let's see. I oh, can't go in here, dang it. Well, I guess, let's, let's head out there. Let's check on John. He's still cooking? Dang, he's still cooking. Is it ready yet? Ah, I guess I'll go play outside then. She don't get snatched up, huh? Oh, let's look upstairs. Because she can't technically defend herself, right? She has magic, but like, it's not like offensive magic. 
I should ask Alva sometime. Oh, hey, speaking of that. Okay, listen. Remember that one boy that I said? The one that his dad went to the surface? And, like, his, his name was Daniel. The little boy's name was Daniel. And he got bullied around underground because his dad went to the surface. What if that one guy who has the robot... That 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 robot or whatever, that's like an android or whatever. What if that's Daniel's dad? What if that's his dad? The reason I say that is because I was thinking about it. That guy, he said to his robot AI, Android was like, "Hey," he was like, "Wait a second, isn't that where you came from?" Or something like that. He says something like that. You know what I mean? And. He does, if I'm correct, have the same color hair as the little boy. Purple. Just saying, but it's very likely. Very likely. Whose room is this? This is Alva's room, huh? It probably is. Oh, look. Yep, there's notes on the table. Jars all over the place. This is Alva's room. Or is this Alva's room? Oh, <gasps> yes, rest. Well, this is Alva's room when she was a little kid, I guess. Wait a second. So that means they're, they're sleeping in the same bed together? Most likely, huh? Alva and Isabel. This is Applejack's. I don't need to hear anymore, but like I said yesterday, only when I'm swimming. Kentaro! Huh? Oh, you're just that girl staying with the princess. Are you looking for someone? Yeah, our friend Kentaro. He's our mage. Oh my gosh, here we go. Earthborn. Mage? Yep, I'm the merchant, and Jackson here is the hunter. Wait. Are you guys talking about Earthborn? Ho ho, you're one of us, are you? They're probably like mad surprised that she plays Earthborn. That's pretty fire though. Listen, whenever you, you like find somebody that, that plays the same game that you do, you know, like, oh, I can't tell y'all, man. That, that, that's some of the most enjoyable moments that I can remember when I was in school back in the day. Finding somebody that actually plays the same games that I played, man. Cause y'all know LB don't just play anything. Mm -mm. So yeah. Anytime I would find somebody though, it always felt really good. Instantly. Shared hobby? Mm-hmm. Not just shared hobby, because you know, gaming, but shared specific product, specific story, specific whatever, right? That's fire. You like Earthborn too? Are you kidding? I love Earthborn! How's about we do a little trade then? All I got is one thing. I'll give you this fat dragon, and you become our priest. Eh, I don't want to. Oh, never mind. Sam does, though. <laughs> Did we get those things by actually playing Earthborn? Because I literally only have one. Now, now I have two. What? But that's, like, super rare. I want that. If you have that, you can go to the mountain and slay the fat dragon. Wait, so you need that to, to go? Wait, wait, so he gave me a fat dragon. But you have to have a fat dragon to kill a fat dragon? Hmm. You always give all the good stuff to girls. In return, you gotta, you gotta go help us find our mage. That's fine. Also known as Kentaru. That's a... That is a, sm a competitive Smash player's name, by the way, Kentaro. I don't know if he still plays it, but he used to. Oh, no, he doesn't. Mm, but do you have any idea where he may have gone? He's probably at the Coin Palace. He's like falling in love with that robot chick there. Got it. The Coin Palace. I'm on my way. Oh, here we go. Sam's going to get into some trouble or whatever. All right, where's the coin palace at? This guy's name is just Skinny. 
No doubt about it, this is the lucky coin. Feed it to the black hole and you'll be swimming in cash. What do you say, boys? Become New Damn City's next millionaires? Uh, are you like absolutely sure you're not scamming us? You think you can scam us, huh? That it? This guy can't even talk right. But perish the thought. I would never dream of scamming you. I mean, come on, fellas. Who hasn't heard of Brotherhood Construction's Brothers Deal? Whoa. Wait, that's us. Like, people know us? We must be pretty smart. Well, they're gonna have to change their tune soon enough. No more Brotherhood Construction for us. From now on, we're the new Damn Brothers Deal. What kind of name is that? The Damn Brothers Deal? They wouldn't, they wouldn't, what? Then wouldn't you like to try to make a name for yourselves? A name worthy of the new Damn Brothers Deal? Why does it say Deal? D-I-M, what is that supposed to even be in this situation? We know what Dim is, like dimming a light, but why is that a part of their name? That sounds awful. Say no more. We'll take that coin of yours. Okay, well, you just got scammed. This could be just a ticket to our newfound stardom. Yup. All right, you got scammed, son. Come on, Armstrong. Come watch your brother read them and weep on the slots. Today's the day we carve our initials into the sun. They really believe that? They're really falling for that? What is he wearing, actually? Bro. Oh, yes. Best of luck, boys. May your business flourish. They got mass scammed. Hmm. <clears throat> Idiots. Huh? What are you doing, Sam? That was a lucky coin she pulled out. But why? Oh, I get it. Hello there, sweetie. Heading to the coin palace, are we? Care to try your luck with this lucky coin? It's guaranteed to help you win big. At only 50 of the white stuff, it's quite the steal. Nope. Ain't about the scam sale. Especially considering she saw all that. Alright, so what she pulled out was the lucky coin. She's gonna probably try to use that coin in the slot machine. But why, why, why? We're just supposed to find the one kid. Where even is it? Let me talk to this person. I do wonder at times if all people ever do is lose money there. How could they still like the coin palace that much? Man, who you, who you asking? That's gambling. I don't gamble. I explained this in the past, y'all. I take my money very serious. You know, nothing against, you know, those who do gamble and, you know, casinos and stuff. But it just is not for me, you know. It, it just ain't for me, personally. Oh, are you all by yourself, dear? It's best you don't go running off outside the city. The monsters out in the wild can be quite ferocious. Yes, we know, lady. Thank you. Tanya, this is literally Jinx. How do I get there? Oh. I feel like I've been here before. But I haven't been in here. This is that guy we saw when we came back from the, the new tunnel. Or not new tunnel, the new subway that got fixed and repaired. He's the, those are these two guys. Brilliant as always, sir. Your angle play was absolutely superb. Is he referring to pool? Why, I didn't have a chance to make a single shot. He's referring to pool. Ha, huh. I used that same move to win over the wife, too. Pool? Okay, very good. Let's save first. Let's see. Refrigerator spit some knowledge. People are not a lot more keen on remembering the times they won money. 
But when they lose money, they just hang their heads and walk away. I don't know about that one, because, you know, people throw away a lot of money. Maybe I shouldn't have just used the word throw away. Hmm. Some some games aren't just luck though. Like blackjack and all that, right? They're skilled to that stuff. But just slots. But paying for it and then just pulling the lever, stuff like that. Uh-uh. But I don't even do the blackjack stuff either. I don't even know how to play blackjack. I don't know how to play any type of cards. I don't care. I ain't trying to sit here and sound cool or anything. I just I don't I don't care about that. I don't know how to play cards at all. None. Nothing, just speed, that's pretty much it. I don't even know how to play solitaire. Nope. I did a lot of careers in the past where people just knew how to play cards. Good for you. Like, I don't know how to play, I don't care. Does this guy have a robot eye? Bucky. Didn't you hear me, young lady? You need a membership card to get in here. Did he say that? Run along now. Go and play with those circus or Harley Quinns or something. He wasn't a little kid. I just topped this up yesterday. How could it be out already? Uh, some kind of card, huh? Guess my beloved Lapine Vixen will just have to wait. Kentaro! Mm. Huh? Aren't you that girl staying with the princess? What are you talking to me for? I have to let you know right now that I prefer my woman a little more... mature. The guys are looking for you, Eric and Jackson. Ah, crap, totally slipped my mind. We were supposed to play Earthborn today. You came all the way here just to tell me that? Yes, you did. Guess you're not half bad. Here, take this, another card? Doesn't, oh, never mind. It's, oh, well, I guess it is a card, but I was thinking it was like a, a little like card for Earthborn. Doesn't have any money on it, but I'll, it'll get you in at least. But why do we want to go in though? Obtain a coin palace membership card. My pop's going to be a whole bunch of these. Oh, oh, okay, okay. So it's fine. Anyway, I have to do battle now. Catch you later. So who's this kid's pop? Where his his pop has a pun a ton of cards, huh? And who's this kid's pop? Where his kid can just go into the casino and like nobody's saying anything about it. Hmm. Could it be somebody we've met? Hmm. Who in this town has the power to like just let like a little kid go in like that? Oh, I got in. I got past that guy. <gasps> look, that's the guy. That's the guy right there on the right side. That's what I was saying. Look, look at his eyes. That's definitely him. Oh, these are the guys that use uh, the, what's call it? That, that scam coin, the one that's not going to work. <laughs> Bro, you had yourself a think yet? About what you want to do after we hit the jackpot? Duh. Go have a drink at Lightning Marks. That's my boy. You read my mind. All right, watch, watch this. Here we go. Then let's get this party started. Hopeless, really. William. Yep. That's the guy that went to the surface from the mine, for sure. But then, what's up with this robot friend of his, huh? Literally wearing like a, a t-shirt and literally just boxers. Yeah, they don't have a chance in heck. <laughs> Bro, what's this, huh? Did we win? Is that what this means? Duh. I think maybe we lost. No way. Those peepers of yours seeing straight? On the bottom, look on the bottom. The continue lights flashing up a star. I'm pretty sure that means we lost. Oh. Uh, well, you uh, you didn't have happen to have a think about what you'd do if we lost, did you? Duh. Go have a drink at Lightning Marks? Okay, yeah, they're completely clueless. 
he just that that guy that that sold him that got away with just that's a crime in real life obviously that's a crime right that's taking advantage of somebody's intellect or their lack of an intellect that's a crime i think is it or that's just being a complete scam artist is being a scam artist actually illegal let's see <laughs> like for real is being a scam artist illegal i have to know okay online scammers will often try to take advantage of people by promising something that is too good to be true such as a free product or unrealistic returns on an investment internet fraud is often persecuted as wire fraud which can carry serious penalties now i'm not looking it up because lb's thinking about going down that career path no i just was curious there's so much scamming in the united states at any given moment i just had to know if it was illegal or not but that ain't gonna stop people you read my mind brosif well that they don't seem too distraught that they just lost their money i wonder how much they lost i wonder how much they paid for that coin first of all come on let's blow this popsicle stand yeah <sighs> idiots to both of them that guy's kind of cool though because that's literally that little kid's dad come on you know that's the little kid's dad idiots keep the song going Yes, this is one of my favorite songs in the game. All these guys in here literally are like casino looking people for sure. I never been in one, but just from what I've seen from media. Like movies and stuff. This is supposed to be the end of the world, yet they still have casino stuff active anyway. Then again, there's, there's casinos in Fallout, New Vegas. Hmm. Wait, are we supposed to really interact with that? We're actually supposed to interact with that. Oh, I forgot. I brought. Reason being is because Sam did say she wants to play while she waits on John. The most amble of salutations to you, my lady. Here to play. That guy definitely remembers Sam. Of course, you'd be hard pressed to find any money to win here. Then why are we here? Yeah, why are y'all here then? It's called observe and conquer, you metal mouth imbecile. Everything you need to know about a person can be read right on their delicious little faces. Hmm. I don't know if I agree with that one. I mean, there's things you can learn about a person by their face and stuff, but that's not, I wouldn't sit here and say everything. Uh -huh. Sam, um, listen, why the heck, why is she trying to do this? I understand she wants to play around and stuff, but, but really? But it's not like it's not like she paid for it. It was just given to her, so at this point there literally is nothing to lose. What if it actually is gonna be luck? Let's give this baby a whirl. Oh, now I was just pulling it. Dang John made some fire, but he let Sam go all the way out there by himself. I'm still thinking about those monkeys you saw on the train. There's a lot to be gained from investigating now. Alva also seems to be pretty, what's the word? When you, when you can easily be fooled. That's called gullible. Alva seems to be pretty gullible as well. And Isabel knew that. That's why she like had to throw that out there. Maybe Al Alva is, is easily fooled or is gullible to specific types of of things maybe mm. sure but it's gonna be dangerous hello sammy sam sam i'm back 
Let's play something. Something sure smells good. Sam's not back yet? John, you, you, you slipped up, John, for sure. Where'd she go? Playing with her friends, maybe? There's a lot of kids in town her age. Really? But I want to go play, too. Hmm. What if Sam's just making, like, mad money up there? Am I really getting that old already? Feels like all I do is worry now. Like, what if she goes somewhere? Somewhere dangerous. There isn't a dangerous place in all of New Damn City. Yeah, easy for you to say. So you say, exactly. <gasps> fast travel point, so we can fast travel here now. Good stuff, can we fast travel from the map? <gasps> we can. Oh, but I can't do it while I'm inside this building. Good stuff. Let us save real quick. Oh, and we can cook from here too. Boop. Fire. Fire. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Saving memories. Save. All right. I'm going to conclude here because I slipped up again and, and played Seizure earlier, like I told you all. I, I, I slipped up. I played a live surface game. Yeah. It's all good, though, you all. If you watch my VODs, I appreciate it. Thank you.